I am Dr. Prasan Rao. Today I will be speaking about retinal detachment. Retinal detachment is a condition where the retina separates from the outer layer of the eye and this causes visual field defects for those patients. It is commonly seen in patients with eye myopia that is wearing thick glasses, patients who have diabetes, patients who have a family history of retinal detachment or had injury to the eye or patients who had have thinning in the outer part of the retina which is also known as peripheral retinal degeneration. These patients will normally present with floaters and flashes of light and sometimes they may even have a visual field defect that means they might not be able to see certain portion of their vision on the side. When the patients consult us with a retinal detachment, a dilated retinal checkup is done. And once the dilated examination is done, based on the type of the retinal detachment, a treatment is advised. Retinal detachment cannot be treated by uh, injections or medicines. The only way retinal detachment can be treated is by surgery. And we currently offer three different surgical options. The first surgery is known as pneumoretinopexy, where a gas bubble is injected in the eye followed by laser treatment. The second treatment is known as cleral buckling surgery, where a silicon band is placed around the eye to fix the retina. And lastly, the most common type of surgery which is done is known as vitrectomy, where the gel inside the eye is removed, the retina is fixed by laser treatment, followed by an injection of either a gas or a silicone oil bubble. I've been doing this surgery for the last 20 years with excellent outcomes in terms of vision for my patients. So I would recommend patients to follow up with the retina specialist as soon as they have symptoms of floaters, flashes or visual field defects, preferably within 24 to 48 hours. This will enable them to have good visual outcomes after surgery. Thank you very much.